Greetings, this is the Baron. And today I've got a match versus a friend of mine from Germany, fellow Timmy Talks patron, Roman. Uh, and this game was actually a little surprise. I didn't think I recorded it. Uh, it. Just my camera was rolling basically all day and night, and he happened to pop in my whereby because uh, it's basically always up. So if you ever want to play a game, you're and you know my whereby if I've sent it to you before, you can just give it a shot because I I'm probably there. <laughs> I keep it open uh, whenever I'm home basically, uh, in case people want to play. So Roman popped in, and uh, this game ended up recorded. So. I don't have deck picks or anything, um, but I did explain to him before the match that this deck is basically the third deck I ever made, uh, and it's been, it has evolved throughout the ages, it started black blue, ooh, turned to sinkhole on his trop, and his two blue did not stop it from happening. Um, so it has evolved throughout the ages, uh, you know, mostly ice age <laughs> is where uh, I left it, so when Old School came around, when I discovered it about a year ago, oh, brutal second uh, sinkhole. Bye bye, Blue Source. Uh, so when I discovered Old School, I'm like, okay, I'm making this deck again. Oh, and strip mine on my uh, factory. Uh, so here it is, I'm testing it out, and there's the Blight now. As you can tell, it's heavy land destruction. Super heavy. I wanted to use Blights. I'm like, hey, man, it's too black. It's a sinkhole. Just. They get to use their land once, you know, and it, they had to restrict Maze of Ith. Like, people want to tap their lands. Uh, people need answers for Library of Alexandria. Uh, people want to, you know, use their Mishra's factories. It, there's so many valid targets for a Blight, you know. Uh, so I'm like, I'm running this card. I'm running four Blights, four Sinkholes, Hippies, Demonic Hordes, um, a single Strip Mine. And ooh, look at that, some draw power. The big book. So, I know it sucks playing against land destruction, Roman. Thanks for good, being a good sport here. And, uh, oh, speaking of maze, there it is. So, I think I'm I think I'm think also running Time Elemental in here. Because uh, this deck is the deck that ended up being my 1.5. I think, I think there is power in it at this point, though. This is before it became the 1.5 deck. But this is the deck that I tore apart and re-hammered into the 1.5 deck I just played in the, the last Beast of the Bay 1.5 tournament. And there's my Hippie. Ooh. Oh, and my, and my Time Elemental. Dropping them both in the same turn. He's tapping the Taiga. I'm guessing I'm going to see a Bolt or something. Uh, that Blight is on the Maze, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe I put on the Taiga, but I'm pretty sure that Blight is on the Maze. Um, I'm not sure which is the right choice. I, I think the Maze is the right choice. Ooh, Red Blast over my uh, my Time Elemental. Yikes. Oh, and look at this. I went back to showing cards in hand. I just didn't do it for the 4th uh, Edition Sealed event. I, I know I usually do put it up there, and I intend to continue to do so in my normal matches and tournament matches but for the 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 games where we're playing a lot of obscure cards like the you know the fourth edition sealed or the fallen empires tournament uh i'm not even bothering with the card hand size because I'm, I'm probably showing you the cards that are being played um so in a regular old school match like this where you probably know every card you see uh if something weird comes up i will explain it uh, I am showing the cards in hand. And there's a bird losing a life for that. And coming with the hippie. He's got four cards. He's going down to three here. And I guess he took the damage already. He drops into 17. Is that right? Or is he taking the damage now? I did it already. Ooh, followed by a him. So he's going down to one card. Yikes. Oh, Icy and Spell Blast. Wow, he almost had the Icy out. And Spell Blast, you know, could have been useful at any point. Oh, man. Disintegrate. Did I pulled it out of his hand right there? Or no, no, he used it. Okay, so my Hippie is exiled. Oh, it's the one card I missed. Oh, that's brutal. He did pay a life for that. He dropped down to 16. He's on his last card. Oh, man, I got my, I got my big book out. Ooh, and another Hippie. 
Oh, that's probably not what he wanted to see. Although, looking at this deck, I'm assuming there's a place set of bolts in here, maybe even chains. So, I know my hippie isn't really safe, but the 1.5 version of this deck ended up running a buttload of counter spells. So, not sure how much counter power is in here at the moment in, in this, you know, edition of the deck, but I'm probably holding on to some kind of counter power in case he does come out with a bolt. But uh, he's not holding it now. Uh, two hippies on the board. I think he would have used it. Coming in for four. Is he blocking with the bird? He's trying to figure it out. He needs that mana. I've hit his land so hard he took the full four. Yeah, he can't afford to lose his birds right now. Ooh, and Time Elemental. And that what a great combo, by the way. Time Elemental, Hypnotic Spectre. Especially having two on the board right now. He's got one card in hand. I could bounce uh, his City of Brass to his hand and then take it out with the hippie on my turn. Uh, so that's just, you know, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm trying to do in this deck. And at this point, I did have the Tome in. I think I took it out for the 1.5. Ooh, he boomeranged my Time Elemental. Uh, I think I'm just going to recast him the same turn. Yeah, here we go. And boom, another 4 down. Drops it down to 5. And what a cool play mat, the Triskelion. I, I'm st I still don't have an old school play mat, and I kind of feel bad. You know, I feel like I'm left out. And, uh, ooh, flash counter on the unsummon. <laughs> wow, wasn't letting that happen. And there it is, bounce the land, knock it out of your hand, and bring it down to nothing. Oh, I know the dice say three, but we miscounted somewhere during the match. Uh, that's where it actually ended, right there. Okay, round two. Let's see what can happen. Oh, but like I was saying, I need, I need an old school playmat. Um, thinking about maybe just doing like a Baron Sanger one, but that's not really old school, you know? That's just kind of like my thing. But uh, I might do that and then still something else. But I don't know what old school, you know, what old school card to do. I don't know, you know, I wish Baron Sanger fit. Sanger Vampire is just creepy, you know? He's, he's a weirdo. I don't, I don't know if I want to look at that when I'm playing Magic. But, uh, as you can tell, by the playmats I do use, I like to look at prettier things. Um, even Triskelion, I, <laughs> I mean, he's a weirdo too. I wouldn't want him staring at me, I don't think. Uh, I don't know, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Ooh, my factory did some work already. Four mana, asking if I can cast the book. He says, yeah, no problem. And green mana crumble. Yikes, I'm gaining four life from that though. Brings me up to 24. Crumble, what a good card. I love playing Crumble. I really do. I was playing it once in with uh, in red or white also in the deck, but I wasn't running the full place of the Shatters or Disenchants, whatever it was. And, or, it was white. It was white, and I did have, I had all four Disenchants, uh, and then I had Crumbles. It was white-green. And someone's like, hey, why aren't you running Divine uh, Offering? instead of crumble why are you giving them life when you could be getting the life for one more mana and i'm like huh that's a, that's a good point so i actually made that change and it did well for me uh there was actually a, a point in the tournament where if that was a crumble i would not have won the match that i won and the fact that it was a divine offering and getting that life got me like the turn i needed to secure that win so don't forget about divine offering people don't forget about it Ooh, psi blast over my uh, time elemental, he knows the power of that time elemental, and you need to respect him. You really do. There's, uh, I was just looking. Someone has a time elemental in the uh, Discord right now for like ten bucks, and I think I might pick it up because I think I only own three black boards, so I kind of want to get my play set in. So if it's still there after I'm done recording this match, I think I'm gonna pick it up. Um, but anyway. I get smacked with a flying man, drops me down to 22. He can't stop my factory though. Ooh, blight on one of your two islands. No, it's still there. You get to you get to keep it until you tap it. There you go. Um, come in for the two, drop you to 10. Man, that that factory has done some work this game. And there's red and green. He just opened himself up to two more colors that he did not have. So let us see what happens here. I guess he's trying to figure it out too. He's excited. He got, he got a, you know, his world just opened up. I guess smacked with the guy, and is that a, a control? 
It is. Wow, nice blackboard of control, Roman. I'm jealous. I don't have any of those. Ooh, but you get no mana regenerate them. So there's my blue blast. Because we, we were testing for something, so we did use sideboards here between the games. So that blast came from the sideboard, and uh, it did me good. It did me good. All right, he's got a bird out now, helping get some ramp. Oh, I blighted that taiga, so it went away now. And man, that is rough. I what do you what do you think? Definitely leave a comment below. Is blight playable? Am I onto something, or am I absolutely out of my mind? And look at me, I'm doing this all with one island. You know, I I'm probably holding. Well, actually, no. There's not a lot of two blue to cast in my deck. Uh, it's just the the activation of the time elemental requires two blue. But uh, I don't don't seem to need it. I'm doing fine the way I am. You're at eight. I'm coming for four. Are you gonna lose your bird? You're one of your two mana sources. Half your mana sources. No, you're taking four. You're losing a card at random. And what do I get? Ooh, brain geyser. Well, if that was not getting cast. That wasn't doing any favors in your hand. Probably would have been a discard if you had to discard from 8 to 7. And this is looking grim. Roman, I'm sorry. You need to pull something out of that deck right now. Because the pressure is on. Time elemental. Oh, that is rough. I Still, I can't activate it, but what does that matter? Look, look at that board. Wow, Roman. Thank you for playing. Great, interesting deck. I like seeing those three colors together. It's very interesting and old school to see that combination. I was a big red-green player and uh, strongly advocated against blue. Uh, I never owned any of the big blue cards until uh, way later. But um, So I thought blue was just dumb. I'm like, why would you play that? Who cares about Merfolk? <laughs> you know? Well, thank you for playing, and thank you for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you really like what you see, you can check out my Patreon, Baron Nick. This is the Baron, and I'm done here.